6, the Target 12 investigators revealing new developments from an investigation we broke three years ago involving problems with the highway railing system. Target 12 has learned Cardi Corporation now has to make independent monitors for all of its federally funded projects, and the construction giant faces some other requirements as well. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau tells us what he's uncovered. New at 6. Cardi Corporation agreed to pay a half million dollar settlement in April following a federal investigation into the highway. Now, in this new agreement, the Federal Highway Administration will not pursue suspending Cardi from federally funded projects if the company makes some changes. After the bridge was towed up the Providence River and into place about a decade ago, the highway section of the 195 relocation project was awarded for its engineering and design. But about seven years later, in 2013, after a truck hit the structure, engineers chipped away at the base of the bridge railing to make sure it was safe. And a RIDOT report would later state problems were caused by the decision made by parties unknown to cut the reinforcing steel. The new agreement signed by federal authorities and Cardi Corporation states the rail was unsafe, inadequate, and unfit for its intended use. The DOT agreed not to pursue suspension or disbarment against Cardi Corporation. The Warwick-based construction company agreed to adopt an ethics code. Also, two corporate compliance officers were appointed. And for three years, two federally approved independent monitors who do not work for Cardi Corporation will conduct at least monthly on-site unannounced inspections of any federally funded project that Cardi is contracted to complete. The document also states the agreement was made without admission of criminal or civil liability. Neither party commented outside of what is stated in the document. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.